Hi everyone, welcome back to another camera comparison. This time it is the new Honor Magic 6 Pro up against the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So front facing cameras right now. I'm swapping over the audio sources so we can have a listen to the microphones and see which one sounds the best. And with the cameras right here, I'm shooting in 4K 60 frames per second. So it should look really nice and smooth and fluid. There should be no drop frames whatsoever and just moving around how do they handle the sun pretty difficult to have it behind me in that position and just a short jog ahead testing out stabilization which one here looks the steadiest of course you would try and keep as still as possible when filming normally but this is just for testing purposes of course re cameras now so we're looking at our main cameras which have optical image stabilization with all three of them now I decided to shoot the whole video and the footage in 4K 60 here, so that's why it should look a bit smoother. And that's a good test to see if we get any juddering when I pan around. And a sprint ahead now to test stabilization. And of course, audio, I'm swapping over those audio sources. So moving over now to the ultra wide cameras across all three, you can do this on the fly with all of them. And you can see they all have a slightly different transition. If you're wondering where I'm filming, this is a place called Las Rotas, and this is at the end of Denia in Costa Blanca, Mediterranean coast of Spain. So electronic image stabilization with those ultra wides. I'm going to go over to our zoom cameras now. So five times we're on iPhone looking at the Tower of Iron. Five times here with the S23 Ultra. And 2.6 is the default here with the Magic 6 Pro, but I'll take that up now to five times, which is, there we go, that's five. And you can see, it doesn't, I don't think it looks quite as sharp, but still seems to be okay, but I need to look at this on a screen. So, trying to hold them as still as possible. I'll take that zoom up to now 10 times. So this is 10, there we go, 10 times now with our Magic 6 Pro and the 10 times preset, that's with our S23 Ultra. And now with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, that is, whoops, I went a bit overboard there. That is now 10 times 2 as well, looking at this tower, which dates back from the 17th century, I believe it is. And back to our main cameras now. And just another little test of stabilization. There is no wind, so we should not have any wind noise at all when I move about with these. Low light video performance, so not looking as good as daylight, of course. Testing the stability, I'll go down these steps here into the darkness. And now we can see here that they really are struggling. Slightly different white balance by the looks of it. And panning around here. Are we getting any drop frames? Which one do you think looks the clearest? in low light and over to our still shots so i'll start out with portraits and remember all of this is subjective i like the stitching across all three i think they did an excellent job with this shot but notice how the contrast and the white balance and the exposure is different across all of them i think the samsung's a little too bright i do like the honors shot but i think it's the iphone it's the best here and then this low light selfie, clearly to me, it's the iPhone that's also better. The Honor's just far too bright and it looks a little bit washed out and skin smoothing or something happening with the Samsung. Again, we're seeing a big difference with the white balance. The Magic 6 Pro I find to be just a little bit overexposed, too bright, although the stitching is okay, background blue looks nice. I think the stitching of my daughter's hair here is the best with the iPhone. However, the colors, skin tones, just come through a little bit more pleasant with the S24 Ultra, which I think has taken it when it comes to the rear portrait photos. Although there is a little bit of noise happening, a bit more noisier, the sensor with the Samsung. Difficult shot, this HDR ultra wide shot, and the sun's captured the best with the iPhone. The Magic 6 Pro looks just a little bit too oversaturated. Look at the sky. It's a deep kind of blue. It was actually more like the Samsung or the Apple phone here. And cropping in, you can see they're all capturing a lot of details. But the Samsung, I feel, just pulls ahead here with a few more details in the shadows, the HDR being just slightly better. Keeping with the ultra wide camera. So this shot here, they are all very similar. But again, there's a bit of a difference with the contrast. More contrast being applied, darker shadows with the iPhone. A more true to life color this is our one times 
shot here, the cameras, and I think it's the Galaxy S24 that looks the best there. However, white balance, probably the iPhone. This is now five times zoom, and I'm now taking the five times zoom up to a 200% crop, and you can see that the Magic 6 Pro is falling to bits now because it's only got 2.5 times optical zoom, so the rest of it's all digital, clearly showing. It's breaking down, there's a lot of color fringing going on, it's just not a good looking shot. And it's between the iPhone and the S24 Ultra, which I think is slightly ahead of the iPhone here. So for zoom shots, the S24 Ultra. The shot of this tasty looking breakfast here, well, they're good on all three of them. Notice the difference with the contrast. But when I crop in, you start to see some of the finer details. I think that the iPhone and the S24 Ultra seem to be a little bit too bright, but take a look at the spoon. You can see the fine scratches on the spoon. With the Magic 6 Pro, you can see some details more of the banana and a few other areas where some of those details tend to be a little bit lost with the Samsung and our Apple. So I prefer the Honor Magic 6 Pro here. And one of the hardest photos for any cell phone, and that's a bright red hibiscus flower in direct sunlight. I've got the latest firmware on all of these phones here, and the Samsung did a terrible job. There's a lot of clipping going on. It's just washed out. It doesn't look good. It didn't even capture the tone of that red correctly. The iPhone did. The Magic 6 Pro did as well. However, there's the least amount of clipping of those reds with the iPhone. So the iPhone here gets the win. At first glance, these look very similar to shots, but no, there is a big difference. Take a look at the white wall in the background. You see the S24 Ultra doesn't capture any details there of that. It's a bit overblown there. And the Magic 6 Pro is the one that does surprise me here because the Vera had slightly dirty white fur and that comes out with the Magic here. You can see it. You can see those extra details. You can see the details on the walls. I think it's a better looking shot. It just captures kind of what it looked like and the white balance is also the more correct with the Magic 6 Pro here, which I think is the best out of these three. Low light photos here, so straight away, the Samsung is third place here for me because look at the night sky. It's purple, there's a lot of blotchiness, there's noise in there, it doesn't look good. White balance is also off. This shot should look quite orangey from those LED lights. And speaking of those lights, there's a lot of lens flare with the iPhone. In fact, it ruins the shot. You can see just above where those LED lights are with that ball, all of the just lens flare there just ruins the shot. So for me, clearly here, it's the Magic 6 Pro that has the best shot here for this particular scene. With this photo, at first glance, a lot of people are gonna straight away go, oh, the Samsung, because it's the brightest. It looks the best. Well, don't be fooled because when you start to look closely at the photo, you'll find that, in fact, the Samsung's the worst here. It's between the iPhone or the Honor, now cropping into 200%. They are really close, those two, but I think the edge goes to the iPhone. Have a look at the stones where the olive tree is uh, in the lower middle of the picture there. Just a few more details there. It's so close, but I believe it is the iPhone that has the slightly better low light photo here. Same story again that, yeah, the Samsung looks a bit brighter, but the white balance is completely off and it's not really a good shot. Again, cropping in here now to 200%. You'll see that there's a lot more detail with the iPhone and the Magic, but it is the Magic 6 Pro that has the sharper image there, a little bit more details. So it gets the win with this low light shot. Then our final low light sample here. So I think it is again the Honor that is taking this one because of the amount of details captured. There's less noise. The Samsung's very noisy. And yes, I did clean the lenses across all three of them. And there's a bit of noise coming through with the iPhone. The white balance is also a bit off too as well. I think it's more correct. And the better overall shot is from the Honor. And to quickly recap now. So for video performance, I think front facing camera, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra was the more pleasant. Uh, the exposure of the iPhone was sometimes a little bit too much. The side of my head went a bit white, whereas the Samsung was better at handling that. But the rear camera video, okay, this is where Android kind of failed a little bit. I noticed a lot more drop frames and some stammering when panning around with the two Androids. So it was the rear camera's iPhone still seems to be the video king for rear cameras at least. Ultra wide, uh, zoom camera as well, and just the general uh, 4K 60 frames per second was the best there. Now, 
Audio. Okay. Um, it's kind of close, but not really. I think, it, yeah, it was definitely the Samsung for me that sounded the best. Those microphones, very good there. And what about stills? So what we've just seen now is low light performance. Definitely, I think overall that goes to the Honor. It does have the brightest lens, so it's no real surprise there. It is a very bright f1.4. Uh, if you're taking photos, a lot of selfies and portraits, I think the Samsung's um, good skin tones, better skin tones, although the stitching was the best with the iPhone. And if you're taking a lot of photos of very bright flowers, uh, clearly that was the iPhone again for me. iPhone with the ultra white and white balance tended to be a little bit better with uh, the iPhone and also the Magic. I felt that the Samsung white balance was quite off at times and a little bit of noise and over sharpening. Uh, they definitely have a bit of work to do to improve things. So do you agree with my findings here with this camera comparison? And if you do, let me know. If you don't, well, tell me where I was wrong. And thanks a lot for watching this video.